Guten Tag und herzlich willkommen. Welcome back to Moving in a Contactless World. My name is Karen Kubrin and I'll be your host once again, this time for our German episode. We're here in the heart of the Rhineland, in Frankfurt am Main. In this episode, we'll be looking at contactless ticketing here in Germany. In Frankfurt, public transport is looked after by the Rhein-Main Verkehrsverbund, or RMV for short. With a variety of other partners, RMV has developed a new contactless ticketing system for mobile phones. And it's this that we'll be looking at in more detail during the episode. But first, a few more words about RMV. In this episode, we'll be looking at contactless ticketing here in Germany, especially in the Frankfurt region. This area is looked after by the Rhein-Main Verkehrsverbund, or RMV for short. Along with a variety of other industry players, RMV has initiated a new ticketing concept called CONTAG, and it's this system we'll explore in more detail in this episode. But first, a few words of explanation about RMV. RMV is an organised transport network in the German state of Hesse, around the city of Frankfurt am Main. Its head office is located in Hofheim in Tannus and is currently the second largest transport network in terms of area covered. RMV is the first service provider in the world to launch a public NFC trial. The first trial was started in April of 2005 and it tested mobile ticketing on buses in the Frankfurt suburb of Hanau. Following this successful one-year trial of over 5,000 users, RMV decided to carry out a 300-person next-phase trial, focusing on NFC technology. These 300 customers tested the innovative rmv to go contactless ticketing solution using the Nokia 6131 NFC-enabled phone. The RMV transport network teamed up with Nokia and Deutsche Telekom to develop the system which is now being used in the city of Frankfurt. This was in collaboration with local public transport companies such as Verkehrsgesellschaft Frankfurt and Traffic Frankfurt and with mobile advertising specialist Ströhr Deutsche Städte Medien. Now that the trial is over and this service is available throughout Frankfurt, RMV may well have beaten telcos and other service providers to become the first to launch a commercial NFC solution. Now then, like anyone else, I need to find myself an NFC-enabled phone. I've come to one of the SMS Michael stores to buy my Nokia 6131. So let's go inside and have a look. This is our Nokia 6131. Mm -hmm. You have the possibility to buy even uh, railway tickets with it. Right. May I show it to you? Yes, please. Okay. So you have on every railway station a contact. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. Yeah. You only have to put your phone over here mm -hmm. and then it starts. Wow, okay, so nice and easy. Would you like to uh, Yeah, try can it? I try that myself? So sure. just tap it and... Right. Yep, there it goes, it's loaded. There it yep. goes, yes. Ooh, yep, perfect. Okay, so if I want to buy one of these phones, yes. how, how easy is it? Oh, it's very easy. You have mm -hmm. the possibility to buy it without a contract mm -hmm. or even to get a contract with 53 minutes right. and you get the phone for one euro. Can well, I take one? Course. Here you are. Let's have a look at the Contag. This small disc can be found on all ticketing vending machines and station posts around Frankfurt. All the user has to do is touch the passive radio chip embedded in the disc with their NFC enabled phone. This allows them to download their ticket or timetable information in a matter of seconds. In contrast to the original RMV handy ticket, users no longer need to manually open the mobile ticket program installed on their mobile phone. The simple act of touching the contact at the stop automatically opens the RMV handy ticket program for ticket purchase. One particularly convenient feature for passengers is that the start of the journey location is entered automatically, leaving only the destination tariff zone to be selected. Another advantage is the ease with which users can download the current timetable for the stop in a matter of seconds, also by touching the contag. If there's no contag available, the start and end stop can be entered manually as before. Thanks to NFC, ticketing is not the only application that can benefit from this technology. 
having access to information systems such as timetables for bus and train can make life a lot easier for travellers. And as mobile phone is something that people are always carrying with them, it means they have real-time access to useful information such as timetables, traffic information or even the weather report. It's this intrinsic portability and ease of use that makes NFC such a useful technology with so many applications benefiting so many people. And that's certainly something that RMV are taking full advantage of here in Frankfurt. With smart posters becoming the next in thing, mobile city guides such as this one here from RMV will soon become the norm in hotel receptions and tourist information offices. And how much easier is it to have access to a wealth of information such as historical sites, transport information, arrival and departure times, weather and dining, all easy to connect to via your mobile. Perhaps one of the most well-known elements of NFC is that of mobile payment for small transactions under 20 euros. And that's something that's going to be introduced into Frankfurt, hopefully by the end of 2008. With mobile payment being rolled out throughout the world in various countries, it's no surprise that the advantages of speed, efficiency and ease of use become more apparent. It's cooperation between credit card companies and transport operators that has allowed these trials, projects and launches to blossom and thrive. But mobile NFC technology is not all consumer orientated. Perhaps some of its more everyday usage can be found in the areas of access control and security. There are currently programmes in place that use this technology for security check-ins for premise security, for time and motion tracking, and more importantly, for public transport station maintenance and damage control. Other B2B applications are also in development, and we will no doubt hear about them soon. To discover what the future holds for Frankfurt in terms of mobile technology and NFC, we spoke to Peter Preuss about rmv to go the mobile key to the Frankfurt Rhein-Main region. Can you tell us how the rmv to go project has evolved over time? We started in 2007. Uh, the idea was to migrate a Java-based ticketing towards an NFC uh, ticketing. Um, first we started with a pilot uh, with about 5,000 customers that were using their regular phones uh, that were Java-based. Uh, they had a small program on it to help them uh, buying tickets. And uh, then we included an NFC interface, and with that NFC interface they were um, able to touch a smart tag at the station, and that helped them uh, to purchase a ticket with only three clicks. Do you feel that putting the ticketing element in a secure token is, is, is the way to go? We are. Uh, trialing this at the moment, so that is the next step in the project to uh, move the ticket storage uh, from the Java program uh, into a secure element. Uh, also to make it more convenient uh, to the customer uh, because with that uh, we are able to contactless control uh, the ticket so the customer doesn't have to um, search uh, the ticket in, in, in the mobile phone. And what do the people of Frankfurt think about all this? Well. In a recent survey of users who were polled in RMV's NFC mobile ticket pilot from July to November 2007, 98% said they would recommend the NFC mobile to ticket to family and friends. 92% said that they felt the mobile phone was safe enough to buy and store tickets. And 25% of these customers said they use public transport more often since they use the NFC solution. So there you have it, again, public transport and contactless technology, this time NFC, seeming to be a winning combination together. And it's the people of Frankfurt who are the real winners. This is Karen Kubrin reporting for CITV, moving in a contactless world from Frankfurt, Germany. Auf Wiedersehen.